Today we are checking out an affordable super ultra wide from Innocent. Now they sent this out to us to review on the channel. Josh and I have never owned a super ultra wide, even though we've always wanted to have one. So we're really excited to open this up and check it out and see how we like it. All right, let's get this bad boy out there. Wow, this thing is huge. Let me try and pick this up so you can kind of get a better perspective. <laughs> that is freaking massive. Let's go ahead and install this into the setup. So we're gonna actually just put it right here because the other side of the desk, that corner will not fit this ultra wide. So I only think that we can put it right here for now. All right guys, first impressions for the monitor. It's interesting. I'm not used to having such a wide and flat display. I'm used to playing on my curved Alienware monitor. So this is definitely gonna take some time to get used to. Now this monitor does have the option to swivel left and right. It also can tilt up and down and you can also move it and adjust it. But I have a light behind the monitor so I don't wanna do that because it will fall. This monitor is VESA mount compatible. So if you wanted to take it off the stand, you definitely could do that and put it up on the wall. We will probably do that in the next couple of days, but I've been dying to play some games on this and one game in particular is Sea of Thieves. So let's go do that. So spec wise, this is a 43.8 inch IPS display with a resolution of 3840 by 1080p. It has a 120 Hertz refresh rate. And when it comes to connections, we have two HDMI ports, one display port and a USB-C along with the headphone jack. There's a couple of extra features to note. We have a cable management hole on the stand to route all of your cables and the monitor does have built-in speakers. Although as most built-in monitor speakers, I wouldn't recommend it using them. I did put a black screen up for you guys so you can also get an idea of the level of the IPS bleed to expect with this monitor. It's actually not that bad at all. And since it's an IPS display, as you can see here, you get great viewing angles from everywhere. All right, so I've just been playing Sea of Thieves and the added immersion that you get from a 32 by nine aspect ratio is awesome. It really helps to fill in your peripheral vision and immerse you in the game when you are playing. Although I do wish it was curved. In fact, I think this is actually the widest flat panel display that I've ever seen or played on. Usually you tend to see curves on 32 by nine monitors and it helps to bring the edges of the screen closer to your eyes when you're playing and it's just a lot more comfortable. But anyways, the gameplay is really smooth. It is rocking 120 hertz display although do bear in mind that if you want to get those 120 hertz you have to use the display port and not the hdmi cable it does support free sync as well so the monitor synchronizes its refresh rate with the gpu output for smoother gameplay and to top it all off you also get hdr 400 support which i enabled in sea of thieves and it looks awesome now you might be wondering about the resolution only being 1080p well there's a downside and an upside to this the downside of this of course is that it's not going to look as sharp as a 1440 p monitor but because this is only a 44 inch super ultra wide and not a 49 inch it's definitely not as noticeable as you might think for reference this monitor is equivalent to the height of a 24 inch monitor which i'd say is the upper limit for acceptable pixel density at 1080p the other plus is that it's much easier to run than a 1440p super ultra wide your gpu is only going to need to push 4.1 million pixels compared to 7.3 million on a 1440p equivalent in fact that's one of the main reasons why i've never bought a Samsung Odyssey G9. Even with an RTX 3090, I'd be lucky to even get 60 FPS in most AAA titles. Whereas on this thing, I can max out the refresh rate and hit 120 with no problems. And I think that's something to keep in mind when there are people out there that don't have a super strong PC. Now, obviously with YouTube, we edit a lot of videos. And one thing that I was excited about with this aspect ratio is that it's equivalent to taking two 16 by nine monitors and sticking them right next to each other. So that means that there's a lot of screen real estate. I've just been doing some editing on it as well. And honestly, I really like this screen that there is so much space to work with and I love being able to stretch out the timeline. It makes moving clips around super easy. I can have several different panels open at the same time as well. 
It's just a really nice experience. It also has 96 DCI-P3 color gamut coverage, which is actually pretty good for a monitor in this price range. It's gonna be color accurate enough for semi-professional photos and video editing. You can also make use of Windows split screen functionality for arranging multiple windows. And it's also great for multitasking. I can have a YouTube video playing on one side of the monitor and be working on a YouTube project on the left. Although I will say you might feel slightly limited vertically since it's such a wide flat panel. But either way, there's a ton of screen real estate especially if you're coming from a single monitor setup. So what are my final thoughts on this monitor? Is it going to replace my 34 inch 21 by nine ultra wide? I would say yes and no. For productivity tasks, it's amazing. You can have a clean single monitor setup and have loads of screen real estate for video editing and multitasking. I'm definitely going to mount it on the wall because I love that clean look and I think it would look nice in the studio. But for gaming, it's a little subjective. I'm so used to playing on a curved monitor that I find a flat panel a little odd to game on, but that's just my personal preference, honestly. I've been using a curved monitor for the past five years, so either way, you're coming from a regular 16 by nine monitor, you'll love the added real estate when it comes to the screen size, and also getting 120 hertz in this display is wonderful. So let's talk about price. MSRP is $650, but of course it's prime sales, which actually if you're watching the video, that is today and tomorrow. And you can pick it up for around $520, which is a really good deal. If you wanna check it out, all the links will be down below. Drop a like if you enjoyed the video, subscribe if you're new, and we will catch you in our next video. Oh, Mr. Peanut. <gasps> Say hi, Mr. Peanut. Mm. This is our guinea pig. Aw, you're so cute. <laughs>